Hi traders, uh, Crispin here from FX Agro Trader, 12th of February 2018. This uh, is a new product that I've released, or in fact I haven't released it yet, to be honest with you. It's uh, still in beta, but it's a trendline alert system with the Java interface enabled. So what I intend to do is just to give you a demo of the system and then open it up for um, any comments or ideas about enhancements which should add value to it before I actually uh, release it properly. So first of all um, using it's using a Java interface which you can see here and this is available from the FX Ergo Trader product catalogue which you see here. Uh, it'll be under Trendline Trading Systems on Trendline Alert. So that brings up this interface. To set the system up you need to load an indicator onto your chart which is called FXA Trendline Alert JFX and once you've got that loaded onto a chart you can then start configuring trend lines for alerts and the type of alert you can create is pop-up alerts, push notifications and also email alerts so if I draw a trend line on the chart and then click on it the interface will synchronize with that trend line automatically so I've got several different options for alerts if I want to, I can create an upper, upper trigger channel around the trend line and then set the number of pips, as you can see here using this spinner. I can also have a lower trigger channel, and we'll see an alert being triggered here pretty quickly. If I enable the alert system, you can see here it's disabled. If I enable the alert system, I've got pop-up alerts, and you see a twin channel alert for trend line 51768 on euro dollar time frame one minute. So tying in with that one minute chart here. Um, I can obviously control the maximum number of alerts in the interval between the alerts and also when the alert counter is reset. So in this case it's being reset every 60 seconds. So I don't have to have uh, a twin channel alert, i.e. an upper and a lower trigger channel. If I want to I can just have either a lower channel or alternatively an upper channel alert. I can also have break based alerts as well. So if I want to be alerted when price action breaks through this trend line I can then go into break mode and if you just use break mode on its own uh, it'll just basically give you an alert when price action temporarily goes over this trend line if you do break close you'll get an alert when price action closes above the trend line or below the trend line depending on how you've drawn it the beautiful thing about the JFX or the Java interface version of this system is you can have completely different trend lines um, with all sorts of different parameters. So this one is being configured for break mode and it's a break close at the moment, but I can easily draw another trend line on this chart. Maybe I want to know when price action breaks through this lower trend line. So in this case, what I can do here is go into break mode and we'll just enable the alerts on this trend line. Same thing as before, pop up alerts, maximum two, alert interval one and that's now set. I can do this on any number of charts, so for example if I go to uh, say a dollar yen chart, load the trend light indicator, and I can do exactly the same thing, so I can draw trend lines here, if I want to know when price action breaks through this trend line up here, make sure the interface is synchronized, go to properties on the chart and just show object descriptions, then we can see the trend line name, trend line 51 nine to four and let's say we want that to be in again a break mode alert and let's also make sure alerts are enabled what I'm also going to do is put a trend line through here and we're going to do the same thing again we'll, we'll set this up so that this is 51950 so we've got a synchronization on the interface and we'll set that to again break mode enable the alert system and we're done so you see we've just had an alert triggered on the euro dollar chart saying price is closed above trend line 51768 for euro dollar so let's just check that 51768 uh, five, yep indeed we've got a close above the trend line which will be there and really that's kind of it folks it's, it's, it's a pretty sophisticated it looks really simple but it's been quite difficult to program this because what I've tried to do is, let's say for example, uh, you have another chart, say uh, your store Swiss franc, slow the indicator up on this one again, let's have a, a trend line up here, 
let's just go to properties, show object descriptions. So we've got this trend line here and let's put a lower trigger channel on this one of say 10 pips. In fact, let's make it a little bit smaller than that because this is a one minute chart. That's four pips. When price action comes within one pip of this trend line, and we'll enable the alerts and we'll do set up another trend line, say down here, and let's say we want to know when price action comes within say five pips of a lower channel. Again, it's quite a small time frame, so let's just tighten this up a bit. So let's do a one pip uh, channel here, enable alerts there. So these, what happens is the trend line control parameters are stored in external files. And if you look in your file, MT4 files folder, you'll see all these files here. And the system can take care of these. It tidies them all up if you delete trend lines, etc. So it will delete the, the control file. In the same way, if you, the interesting thing here is if you then delete the indicator from the chart and then reload it, All of these parameter files should be maintained. So if we click on 52030, you can see it's still selecting our lower channel there, and we've got a one pip threshold. So yeah, that does make sense when our, when our alert was generated there. So that's basically it, folks. Um, it's um, it's it allows you to have multiple uh, configurations for as many trend lines as you want within reason. I think. I've coded it to handle 20 uh, trend lines for each chart, which is more than enough, I think. And obviously you've got control over your threshold colors and all that kind of stuff. You know, if you want to change the color of the thresholds, uh, you can change the alert sound if you want to. From the standard alert.wav to actually any alert sound you've got, any WAV file you you have on your machine. So it's not specific to the MT4 sounds folder with the, with the Java program. So that, I'd be interested to get some feedback before I kind of finish this off. I'd like to, you know, get any more ideas you guys may have, um, possibly some enhancements with regard to the type of behavior the trend line is using. So, for example, I could easily put in break or some sort of coding here, which would allow people to very quickly see what how the trend line is configured. Clearly, if you're using upper, upper and lower channels, it's immediately obvious because the, the lower or the channels are drawn on the charts. But the break functionality is a little bit uh, less obvious in terms of how it's displayed. So please don't hesitate to give me some feedback. You know, these products get better based upon customer feedback. And I've always developed that way to try and give you guys what you're looking for. And so. Anyway, look forward to hearing any comments. Uh, my email address is info at fxalgotrader.com and I'll put that in the description of the video on YouTube. So thanks for watching.